this has never happened before. Get a hold of yourself, <laughs> Eugene. I'm going in. I know everybody played this game as a kid. That's right. Start making me money. Welcome to Memorable Mondays, where we play a GameCube game every Monday. Today we're playing a SpongeBob movie game. You guys enjoy. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Oh, thank Neptune, my manager's here. Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple a Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite. No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, <laughs> Eugene. I'm going in. Up to Daisy! Oh man, this game brings back memories. We're back. <laughs> oh, this game is a classic. Ow. Ow. I'm feeling like more of a man already. It's a short slide from manager to, well, not manager. I got hit by the first enemy in the entire game. of this establishment. What's Everything's gonna so be bad. just fine. I'm really scared, man. You got a name? Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, the Goofy jealous Goobel. of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Welcome to adulthood. Hey. Hey, buddy. Come on. Wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's eight in the morning. Closed. Look like your friend is out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! SpongeBob! Classic. Much of stuff! After hours, the goofy goofy sure is a lot less goofy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
SpongeBob! What's up, Patrick? You have got to try this new dot broom game. Dot! <laughs> Bring him to The song's a banger. Isn't there? Yeah. Hey, treasure. After all this time, I still remember there was an extra in this room. Patrick, if you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. Sure thing. <laughs> like that's the most free token in the game. kids brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Ah! I remember there's an extra in this room as well. In here. Alright, you have to get every single one of these boxes with the cartwheel move in one go. SpongeBob. Don't laugh at me. Amazing. Patrick, I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh. 
Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter, Mindy, provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Oof. Go this way. The music on these levels is also a banger. Okay, Mr. Police. Destroy. A new path. Ow. I'll take that. I missed the thingy. of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. <laughs> no. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Plankton is using those radio towers to broadcast his evil messages across the sea. SpongeBob, you have to find a way to shut those towers down. Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh! Well, in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Let me look. Up to Daisy. Thank <laughs> you. 
I should bring ice skates next time. These just ooze macho. Very satisfying. Hey, no. Me neither. Wow. <laughs> Shut up. Last section. Ice cubes. Oh, don't do that to me. Macho stuff. All the games I played as a kid, I think I played this game the most. <laughs> what is that? Your superhero persona? That's cringe. What is that? Is that your fucking mermaid man persona? <laughs> That's cringe. You're cringe! <laughs> I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. Let's do it. Ah, uh, yes, vehicular manslaughter. Last one. I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. <laughs> Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert, but Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. <laughs> Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, uh, everybody's attention?
I have to use the bathroom. It's, uh, right over there. <laughs> Stupid contacts. <laughs> oh, there it is. I better go wash it off. <laughs> Patrick, you call that a distraction. I had to go to the bathroom. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. I'm sorry, Patrick. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the smash. You'll need the smash to get the key to the paddy wagon back and defeat all the thugs. You need more Goofy Goober tokens. But Mindy, I picked a flower for you. Oh, I think I lost it. Sorry, Patrick. On that note, I think I'm gonna end this episode. Uh, this game... Probably the video game I spent the most time playing as a kid, and it was nice to revisit it. Uh, I am. I think I'm gonna finish this game on my channel. I will come back to this another Monday. Play some other games first, and then you know we'll, we'll come back to it. Uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and a comment. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you played this game yourself. Alright guys, take it easy. Peace.